Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Auto. So I've just bought in this MG ZS EV and these don't have scheduled charging, which isn't a big problem because the modern smart uh, wall chargers like this Wallbox Pulsar Plus do have that functionality in them anyway. However, some EVs don't like uh, delay charging. Normally older EVs, I'm not expecting this one to be one of those, but uh, on some of the older EVs, when you lock the car, obviously it goes to sleep, and when that charger switches on later on, typically in the middle of the night, um, the EV won't wake up and accept the charge, so you, what happens is uh, it's not charged by the morning. So I'm going to do the little test here with this MG. I'm expecting this to work, but I've never tried it myself. Um, so I'm recording this uh, now as I plug it in for the first time with a delayed uh, charge and we'll see what happens. So many drivers of EVs will change their home energy to one of these cheap rate overnight tariffs, a bit like the old Economy 7 tariff. Um, the most common one is the Octopus Go, uh, but a lot of energy suppliers are offering one of these, and that um, takes advantage of all this abundance of green energy on the grid because the wind turbines are spinning all night, and you get uh, much cheaper energy during a timed period, typically from sort of 12.30 to 4.30 in the morning, and uh, your energy will reduce from something like 15p a unit during the day to 5p a unit during that cheap rate time. Take advantage of that. You can either set uh, the car up so the car controls your charger, or in this case of the MG, it doesn't have that function. So using the new smart chargers, you can let the charger control when it's going to provide the energy to the vehicle. So with the uh, wall box here, I've use the app and I've set an overnight charging tariff from 12.30 to 4.30 in the morning. So this is going to only charge the car during those times. So I'm actually expecting this to work because obviously this is a newer EV, but I've never done it. So uh, we're in the middle of the afternoon here, so I'm gonna plug that in now. It's going to sit here uh, until tomorrow and we're going to see whether that has accepted that overnight charge. Here we are the morning after. I know the charging overnight worked because I've got there a notification on my phone from the wall box charger to show the charging finished four hours ago. So we'll just unlock the cable and have a look inside. But I did see yesterday well last night uh, on Mike Proctor's channel he's got some excellent videos on this MG ZS um, that there were issues with timed well delayed charging on the MG when it came out and MG have since done a BMS software update which has fixed them um, that was in July August uh, 2020 this vehicle was new in, um, when was this, uh, March 2020. So I'm not sure whether this vehicle has had that software update or not, because obviously I'm a new owner here. But um, clearly, we'll just turn the ignition on here. It, it, that may well change, that direction of travel. So these are the strands that we're following today, but a major piece and of yes. news, um, this morning, and, and one really... I can't turn the volume down there. There we go. We can see there it is fully charged. So yeah, clearly there were issues with time charging on these. Um, so I don't know whether this does have the new software or not, uh, but certainly the test I wanted to do proves that using a Wallbox Pulsar Plus does work fine with the MG doing that delayed charge. A bit of a non-event really this video um, but I'm sure it will help someone if you're looking at getting an MG and you're looking at what charger to get using one of those Wallbox Pulsar Plus chargers. Clearly does work fine uh, but maybe it's because this has got the new BMS software update I don't know. But anyway if you like this video please do click that thumbs up it really does help the channel and gets it noticed by other people on YouTube and more EV videos coming soon.